the first time that I walk through this door as being the principal, seeing the faces of the children, seeing their eyes light up and just smile, that just filled me with warmth. I think St. Regis has a faith-filled curriculum that really sets us apart from any other school in the community. All of the science, math, and technology uh, integration into the curriculum, and that's really important. Their entire person is being taught, their mind, their soul, and then through the sports and other things with their body as well. We have a tremendous arts program at St. Regis, so for those kids who uh, love art class or love trying theater or other unique things, there's an avenue for all of them. Having that as an educational background for our children that are going to be our future, we have to give them a base. And we do that here at St. Regis. We start building them from the ground up and we support them through their whole academic journey, but also through their faith journey and continue on. I was raised in a with Catholic education and it formed my foundation of who I am now as a person and we want the same for our children. And then it's also just about the center of raising your children to be kind and learning from God and from the Bible and from others. One of the things you see with children at St. Regis School is they have a faith that they're willing to ask questions about and to express and their prayers are so heartfelt that you can't help but to feel your own faith strengthened by watching the faith of these children. St. Regis stands out. There's, there is something about this community. The parents and the students watch each other grow all the way through high school, from pre-kindergartners through eighth grade, and it's very special to see that and sharing so many of the same values. St. Regis teachers care, they're kind, um, they are here because they really believe deeply in the Catholic education. I feel like we're just kind of one big family. I really feel like I'm home and that's what Regis is to me. It's a second home.